All right. Well, lots of people want to know how Lisa got started in the business, and so I tell this story often, often, often. Lisa's basically been doing this since she was five years old when she could learn when she learned how to read and write and she used to write little plays and she would put them on this little clothesline she had strung in the closet and um, assign a part to her sister Julian and the two little neighbor girls down the street then she would walk up and down the street and knock on doors and invite people to come and see the plays which she would force these poor little girls to perform and she would hang big big um blankets from the balcony and tie them back anyhow so that's Lisa's start I was the first model on stage for the very first Unite show and it was just absolutely absolutely life-changing for me um, all of the other people that were in my class had a bunch of people who knew them that were there in the audience and I lived in California at the time and I didn't know anyone except Lisa, and Lisa was running the show. And um, so there were two of us that were first to come out. Dorothy McCainy was my partner and me, and we walked out through the curtain. I was actually the first one through the curtain. We walked out, and, and the uh, moderator had just said, and now let's welcome our Unite models or something like that. And when I walked out, there were people that I didn't know at all standing up in the front row and applauding and and screaming and um, honoring me and it was just like people who win the golden buzzer on America's Got Talent. It was like, wow! Um, it, it, it just felt incredible. It changed my life. It was everybody, I felt that it was everybody giving me all the love that I wished that I had had and never got. It was just astounding, just fabulous. Well, I've always been a real busy person. That's where Lisa probably gets it from. Um, I don't know, but anyhow, um, I was t I was a, a computer trainer for Pactel Info Systems, and I would travel around the country and teach people how to use computers. And this was way back when when attorneys were afraid to touch a computer and whatever, and I would go and give them classes and help them get over their fear. So anyhow, I had a class, I lived in California, I had a class lined up to teach in Dallas. I went in just for a regular checkup, and um, they said, hmm, looks like there's something, something is here, and they found that I had cancer. And my response was basically, I've got places to go, I've got things to do, you do what you've got to do. So they did and I did and I was fine. I used to look forward to going to chemotherapy because I loved my doctor, I loved my nurse or the, the nurses that were there. I, I didn't have a hard time. And so one of the things that has been kind of, um, not a struggle, maybe a struggle for me, what is that often, and that was 30 something years ago, 1988. And so not really feeling like I could help the ladies that are in Unite because I didn't have a hard time. And some of them have really, really horrendous stories that they tell and uh, they're afraid, they're in pain. I didn't experience any of that. And so I will say, well, I don't have anything to share. And, and some of the people who are, and everybody loves me anyway, which is cool, but, um, they just say you do. You have you have the thing to share that you're a long-term survivor, and you give them you give them hope. After I had the surgery, I went to a gathering of people who have had cancer, and um, it was like a group support. And I walked in, and people were sharing, and they were saying, um, "Oh, it was horrible." and I've had it second, a second time around, and now I have this, and, now, and I just walked in, and I went, nope, this is not for me, and I turned around and I walked out. I wanted a positive feeling, and I didn't get a positive feeling at all. So when I walked out, there was a book on the coffee table, and it was called, um, gosh, I can't remember, but it was something about letting go of fear and, and a positive cancer journey, and it it was a new a new 
approach that people were using with cancer where people would do positive visualization and surround themselves with positive people. And so I got involved in that, that aspect of working with them. I do realize that for a lot of people it's very, very difficult, but things can get better. And so that's one of the very, very positive things about UNITE is that uh, the women are surrounded by other women who are experiencing the same thing and maybe it was horrible for them last week, but this week they're feeling better. Just the support that each person has, uh, it, it's, it's a group of people with like-minded fears. Yeah, and not only like-minded fears, like-minded fears and like-minded hope, like-minded love for each other. It's a strong organization. I've heard that Marines will, will take a bullet for each other. Well, I think that also that the women in UNITE would do the same for each other. It's strong sisterhood. My daughter is the producer of UNITE and I am the producer of The Producer. Thank you for producing me, Mom. <laughs> and thanks for everything you've done to help out the You're program. Welcome.